you know where to get a free PDK that you can download and use almost instantaneously. Do you know what design files and data sheets are there in a PDK? Let's start our journey for a 45 nanometer free PDK file structure and download instructions. Hey guys, welcome back. We are tearing a free PDK that is available in this URL. Don't worry, this is provided in the video description. From there, you can directly come to this PDK. And uh, let me go through it. And uh, what you can see here, this PDK is designed by Oklahoma State University. I think they have the collaboration with the North Carolina State University. When you are availing this PDK, when you are availing this PDK, there are several tools like magic, the cadence tool, the synopsis tool and the mosses tools. So all these you can use. So you can use the PDK with all of these tools. So the following page give information regarding design flows or system on chip design, the SOC that is the ASIC flow that were developed you to use at Oklahoma State University for use with mosses process. Okay. So we have developed jointly with North Carolina State University a free PDK 45 nanometer. This is our focus today. A variation of a 45 45 nanometer design flow for the Semiconductor Research Corporation SRC. The SRC designed with Synopsys Cadabra, which allows full chip synthesis and place and route to CDS, that is the cadence encounter. You can download the design flow and standard cell library here and technology kit from the North Carolina State University. So let us see what are there in this free PDK that you can download. So here supported technologies are whatever files are there AMI 0.5 micrometer with pad cells, AMI 0.35, TSMC 0.25, TSMC 0.18 and we have the free PDK 45 nanometer. So this is our episode today. The other things you also can browse and you can explore by yourself. So here whatever package like if you are downloading the 45 nanometer free PDK then you can have the libraries, the timing libraries like lib is used in cadence db is in synopsis and tlf again in used in cadence simulation libraries this is for the rtl library right uh, this is used in the synthesis part so verilog is there vhdl is there for the standard cells now geometry libraries this is used in the backend flow and for cadence we have lef here and for synopsis tools we have the fram files and cell layouts which are compatible with virtuoso magic gds2 and cia so you can see almost all the tools you can use this free pdk and here you can see that there is a download link so if you go here in this download link you will be able to see the files and accordingly you can download the tart gz files some files you can directly access which i'll show so let me right click and open it here so here you can see all those things are there the free pdk and standard cell data sheet right so if i go here right click it and open it in another tab you can see here the pre pdk is there there is a tar gz file there is a HSRC file so if i open it you can see that the file that is coming here has the state environment cadence open license file so you can see the license file and you can see the free pdk here and all these environment variables are set first and then you can see again some state environment so all these things are set so that you can start doing your work and here you can see that some entries are here again some set environment variables are here so in the linux episode i have explained what is a cshrc file and how you can use that and here is a real time example things that you can append to your existing chsrc file keep this file somewhere and source from your chsrc i have provided the link in the video description so you can see the chsrc episode in case you do not understand what is a chsrc file so you can see here some path related commands are also there and here you can see some more commands are here and you can see that this is also source so you have to keep in mind that this file you have to keep in a particular path right from where it can source this file and once this is sourced this in entire file is sourced it will give a message you are now able to set up to use the cadence properly and to use the free pdk so this will give the message so let me close it what else are there so here you can see the free pdk 1.0 so here you can see flow, leap and reference design. So there are things you can see here. So if you go here and you can see, so is generally the automated files like, like you have tickle file here. You can see the encounter tickle. This is used in cadence and this is used in synopsis, right? All these things and .v file is there and .vhdl file is there. 
here it is rc rc i think it's a cadence thing dc is from synopsis and rc is from cadence so these files are also there you can use these files readily in these tools with the flow here we are done and you can go ahead and click and download this file that is it is very easy like any other so again here let me go back go in the leap and right click here it opens up the library here there is files then free pdk sales html source so here is files let me see what is inside the files you can see here the sp general this is pies.em file is there the db file is there the lef is there lib is there elf is there b is there and vhdl is there so in the initial page i have talked about these files right these are generally the basic setup files you need like db is for synopsis lef is for cadence lib is used in the timing tool TLF is again for cadence. B and VHDL is used in DC and RC of the synopsis and cadence tools. So I think this is the PICE file for the PICE simulators. And here we are done showing this. If I go for lib, what is there? Go here. Now files we have just talked. Let me go to this and open it in the. So you can see there are several standard cells are here. Let's open this end cell, and here you can see the all the things are there. So layout is there. If you go there, this is an open access OA file, okay? And you can use it in any of the layout tool. Let me go back, and here you can see the abstract thing, abstract file. So this is also needed. The abstract is needed in the design, the backend design. Here we have the layout. You have the layout here, open access again, and here we have the schematic. So schematic is open access format is there, and all the files are there. Here you can use the uh, schematic for your spice right or in your design maybe you are doing a design there you need a schematic so here you can so all these things are there so sales i have just shown let us open the html html if we go here for one particular cell you can see here the data sheet is there this is the html data sheet and you can see lot of data is there so there is a delay table right you can see there is a delay table here we have the x and y data and correspondingly we have the entire data population for these values so here ts and cl i think cl is for this one and ts is for this so we have this data and we have for power similar table is for power again this is 0a201y this arc is for this one. for this arc here all these details are here so you can go and uh, read this data from the html folder okay function is there y equal to a and b power detail is 1.69 what we talk about the power performance and area right the power data comes from here and you can see the pin capacitance is here any pin has the capacitance and the output driving strength here how much output it can drive drive strength is uh, given here now let me close it and here is the entire list of the html from that you can go to the cell level data that is already there and which is already characterized and and one thing i would like to mention here again i open it you can see all these data comes from the standard cell characterization that means when you do the standard cell characterization all these data is generated so this is already the generated data you already have in your uh, data sheet you can say call it it's a standard cell data sheet here you have and here i am closing because there is uh, similar there are similar data for all the cells starting from here to here so you can see different types of cell and buffer clock pull adder half adder inverter latch mux nor or and or and zor etc all the cells are here so from this html page you can go and go to the pre-characterized data sheet of the standard cells now you open it again here is the source file right so let me open it and see what is there so you can see here the cadabra is there gds here if you go right all the cells that we have visited they are corresponding gds is here you can open in any of the layout tool you can see and view their cell level gds from and here i am not opening since i need a layout tool i am avoiding this thing and maybe in some other episode where i do some layouting here i will show so here open the source again and here the netlist is there we have visited the gds and the netlist is here px means the parasitic extracted netlist i open it right a new file you can see so you can see right it has been used in a caliber xrc and here there are details and here you can see the capacitance value so this is the rc extraction these are the parasitic so that's why it is called the pex 
then another file is there exi so here you can see the pi format here is again you can see the coupling capacity the similar files are there for all the cells that are a part of the this particular library that is the standard cell library including the data that is coming from the foundry that means hold some the pdk and the design kit here the data are here i have just demonstrated so here gds netlist and here is the cadabra i think at netlist and lib and all something here finally so lib is the timing lib so let me open it here we go download it Added format not in that format so just this is for the kdabra right so that is a tool specific one let me go back and Get up right for the tool. Get up related files are there. Close it, and here is a signal storm. So I think again a tool, and for that we have all the get up files. Okay. Here I let me close it in so HTML source PDK cells and files. So here you can see all those things you can download readily for your design. And here also there is a lib right. Let me open it. Let's say here and go back, and also we have a reference design. So for reference design, we also have some files here. This for the cadence tools, and here all those things are there. It's ready for you. We can, in case you have the tool, you can open up all these files and readily see the sample design. Let me close it, and here let me go back to the parent directory, free PDK, and here are the take files. Now these take files are coming from the foundry so this is this tech file the tf right let me open in the tab this tech file is coming from the foundry right this tech file is there coming from the foundry and all these details need to be preloaded into your design tool the layout design tool or any other design tool that you are using all these details have to be preloaded otherwise you will not be able to interpret the rest of them so these are the must haves so this tech file and the caliber drc rule so this is the caliber rule file the design rule drc check rules go and open it right so you can see the different rules are written here is a design rule check file and which the drc tool must be reading before it reads the design so that it can detect the design rule violation so here we are done we close it and here we are back in here we went to this folder and let me show you the standard cell datasheet folder so you can go here directly right different technologies as mentioned in the main page are here but our focus is for the free pdk 45 nanometer so we are going to it and opening it so if I go here and open it, you can see again we come up with a uh, recharacterized data for the particular standard cell. This is the data sheet. Data sheet is something that is created by the IP design team and they create and characterize the data and write in some human readable format like what you are seeing right now. And here it is in the HTML. Sometimes this could be in a PDF format, maybe in some other vendor so here the, all the cells data is there so you can move to the particular standard cell data sheet from here so here we are done and uh, let me go back Close this close this so we have covered this and this we are not going to this because our focus is in the free pdk so here you can see we have just discussed about the free pdk 45 nanometer and we have done our tour of all the files that we have indexed or talked about in the initial page here so we have checked the db lib verilog vhdl lef fram and gds2 file all these things are there so you can see and come to this particular page right this particular page link is in the description and from there you can download your free pdk the way you have to navigate i have already shown in this video so be rest assured and follow those steps to download the files and here we are done thank you for watching up to this point and don't forget to like share and subscribe in case you have some dislikes put that as in words in the comment section down below and bye for today